Subscribe to our YouTube channel and press the bell icon to get the latest updates. The coronavirus outbreak is creating much panic in the country with the number of cases rising every day. Well, of course, as we've said in the earlier episodes of Government Matters as well, there is no need to panic. It's important to be cautious more than panicking. But what is the government doing to contain the situation? And how is the government itself functioning given that there is this entire talk of social distancing and not coming to office, working from home, etc.? Because it's an issue that requires two different dimensions to be discussed, I have two domain experts, Himani Channa, who handles health for the print, and Moshmi Das Gupta, who handles, who tracks the government and various ministries. So, Himani, uh, where do the numbers stand as of now? How many people have tested positive for coronavirus? Uh, Ruhi, as of now, 110 people in India have tested positive. Out of that, 93 are Indians, 17 are foreigners and uh, 13 have been already discharged and two deaths have taken place. So this means the active number, the people who are presently positive are 95. Right. So, uh, Himani, there is, you know, there is so much misinformation and there is so much fear and rightly so because it's an unknown virus. It's spreading very rapidly. What is the health ministry or the government doing at this point? We'll talk about the measures they're taking later, but to, simply to allay fears. Uh, to allay fears, uh, Ruhi, they have obviously circulated the helpline number. You can call up the helpline number. You can tell your symptoms. They will take your contact details and they will call you back to understand if you require the testing or not because it's a season of a common flu as well. So symptoms are almost same. So you should only approach to the government centers for test if you are feeling any respiratory distress. Right. Otherwise, having runny nose, scratchy uh, uh, throat, having fever, are all the symptoms of common flu as well. Or if you've come in contact with someone. Who yeah, of course. If you have a possible. travel history uh, from the country, specifically China and Italy, right. or you have come in contact with someone who has tested positive for right. it. Now, Moshmi, this entire talk about social distancing, it's actually a phrase I have just learned. It's not something I'd even heard of yeah. earlier. Uh, working from home. It's obviously created, now private organizations are doing that, everybody's managing it, but how is the government functioning? Because, you know, ministries are crowded, you can, there are so many people who come in every day, so many, and all of us have covered ministries, so we know how it is. Is there a thinking within the government on how to tackle it? Uh, Ruhi, uh, the ministries uh, are yet to come up with a common strategy mm -hmm. on how to go about the social distancing thing because many of the officers, many of the ministries have a huge public interface right. also. Right. Uh, to start with the parliament, they have in the parliament today, they have started thermal screening of all the visitors. Mm -hmm. But having said that, both the houses, Lok Sabha and Rajya Sabha are functioning today. Right. There have been demands to adjourn the parliament, uh, but it hasn't happened as well. Uh, uh, why I'm talking about this adjournment is some of the state assemblies have already taken a lead and adjourned their uh, assemblies, uh, assembly sessions. For instance, Chhattisgarh has adjourned the assembly session till March 25th, Madhya Pradesh. Yeah, the protest was going to happen. Yeah, they have adjourned, adjourned the session and they are all citing the coronavirus outbreak. So uh, having said that, uh, I mean, uh, many of the leaders have also called for, uh, you know, finishing of urgent matters so that, you know, because parliament, as you know, within inside the Lok Sabha and Rajya Sabha, MPs are sitting in very close proximity. Absolutely. And uh, I mean, there is very little you can do, I mean, to avoid you know, contact with, with the person sitting next to you. Uh, also, Ruhi, apart from the parliament, in the Supreme Court also, they have started thermal screening of visitors. Uh, ministries across the board, they have reduced press conferences, events, seminars and conferences mm. in light of the uh, pandemic, coronavirus pan pandemic. But uh, again, I mean, in uh, ministries, thermal screening is not being done across ministries. Mm. There are ministries where you just walk in, nothing... I I mean, nothing is happening there. You can just walk in and go and, I mean, uh, uh, conduct your, I mean, whatever, right. yeah, conduct your meetings there. In the morning today, uh, in Nirman Bhavan, for instance, the group of ministers had met to review the corona, the situation arising out of the coronavirus outbreak in India, which the meeting had, 
you know, union ministers, external affairs minister Jay Shankar was there, uh, health minister Harjwardhan was there, uh, housing minister who is also the civil aviation right. minister Hardeep Puri was there. The ministries are yet to, you know, uh, start practicing video conferencing right. of meeting, calling for video conferencing of meetings instead of, you know, being present physically and reviewing, reviewing uh, the situation. Right. So, right. Now, Himani, uh, what is the government doing to contain the situation? Earlier, I talked about allaying fears, but clearly this is something that also requires a lot of preventive measures. So uh, let's just talk a little bit about considering now it's becoming bigger and bigger. What is the government doing to contain it? So the latest thing that government has started doing is uh, uh, from uh, yesterday, from March 15, they have started taking the random samples to check the community transmission. So mm. this is the biggest fear. Mm. So the situation that uh, uh, that is in Ch China, the situation that is presently in Italy, the situation that is in uh, US. So th the problem is of community transmission mission. So, uh, government has started taking the random samples, which is uh, ICMR, Indian Council of Medical Research, which is the apex uh, health research body in India. So, they will be taking the community samples randomly, which is uh, <coughs> 10 samples, hmm. uh, 51 labs per week. Okay. So, it's like 510 samples per week will be tested to check if the virus is present in the random people in the community. Because as we discussed earlier, that till now the testing is only for those who have either been to the infected countries or who have come in uh, you know close contact with someone who has been very tested strong positive symptoms. or have very strong symptoms so this is the latest development that government has you know just started right now moshmi uh, considering that um, you know this is also you can't the government cannot shut down right uh, they have to work they it can't possibly become all work from home but is there a thinking of not allowing visitors into ministries or well something that is a bit frightening for us not allowing the media into ministries as of now no such decision has been taken Ruhi but yeah some institutions like for instance parliament and the supreme court they are restricting the entry of visitors mm -hmm. and the visitors who are coming in limited numbers they are being screened thermal thermal screening is being done but as a whole there has been no call taken on you know restricting visitors entry to the ministry or you know restricting the entry of media right. in fact ruhi yesterday after the prime minister had a video conference meeting with all the sark yeah. leaders the uh, uh, journalists covering the mea beat were called for a press conference later in the evening right. so you know and press conferences I mean, you are sitting again in very close proximity with each other. Right. The social, you can't practice social, social distancing. distancing so that is there. And also, Ruhi, another interesting point is Supreme Court today took Siomoto cognizance of the f overcrowding in jail. Mm -hmm. And they are saying that, that you know, that, that's a, you know, mm -hmm. uh, th that can become a center for, you know, right. spreading of virus if there is an infected person there. Mm -hmm. So, but again, no final decision has been taken by the, I mean. Moshmi, also, what, what is interesting is the cabinet meeting that happens every Wednesday. Now, typically what happens is that the entire cabinet, all the union cabinet ministers are present and then there's a press conference. Today is Monday, day after is when it is due. Is the cabinet now going to be thinned down? Will only the relevant ministers whose, whose ministries subjects are being taken up come for it? Will there be a press conference after it? As of now, again, Ruhi, no decision has been taken on this. Till last week, the cabinet meeting happened. And following the cabinet meeting, the briefing of uh, reporters also happened in Shastri Bhavan. Mm -hmm. So, I mean... This is like as uh, I mean, this is only last Actually, week. So last yeah, Wednesday. yeah. So, so as of now, no decision has been taken. But of course, Ruhi ministries have cut down on seminars, functions, events. Right. For instance, the Federal fin Finance Commission was to meet, uh, was to have a meeting with all the state chief ministers. That has been called off. Uh, again, there was one finance ministry event related to Women Day that was called off. So ministries are cutting down or right. cancelling events but there has been no standard you know right. uh, SOP as yet on how to go yeah how to go about maintaining social distancing and what's the protocol that the government should follow the different ministries should follow right Mani I'll ask you the last question so where does this seem to be headed I mean I'm sure all of us want to know how much worse can it become or can we expect things to improve what can we do what is the government thinking the, what is the way forward uh, Ruhi uh 
आई डोंट नो दैट हाउ मच हाउ वर्स इट इज गोइंग टू बी और लॉर्ड ऑफ पोस्ट ऑन सोशल मीडिया हिंट्स दैट यू नो इफ इन केस वी डोंट कंट्रोल इट टूडे वी आर गोइंग टू बिकम द नेक्स्ट चाइना वी आर गोइंग टू बिकम द नेक्स्ट इटली फॉर इंस्टेंस अ रिसर्च डन बाय द लैंड सिट ऑन हाउ यू नो दिस कोरोना वायरस इन्फेक्शन यू नो हैज क्रम्बल द इटालियन हेल्थ केयर सिस्टम सो दे से दैट इटली इज नाउ समवेयर वेयर यू नो वुहान वॉज सम डेज बैक सो वी must you know restrict this infection in india otherwise of course this is going to explode the good thing is that i would like to tell you is that there are several severe uh, corona virus cases which are now being cured by hiv drugs so india has officially said that you know in case of severe corona virus infections hiv drugs which is lopinavir and ritonavir that can be used uh, so i think instead of you know we shouldn't be panicked about the situation of course we should follow all the advisories that have been given social distancing and all of that and uh, but we should also keep in mind that there are some medications that are worsening the fatality the mortality rate is not very high and uh, of course uh, uh, who ha- has also you know advised that there is a drug which is used for the treatment of ebola which is mm. which is showing higher efficacy for uh, containing uh, or curing the person who is suffering from corona virus so i think that's it we have for now and we should keep the helpline numbers ready if in case you know there is someone in our family who is right. not feeling well we should get in touch with that and i hope we will be able to contain that right well himani and moshmi telling us what the government is doing to tackle this corona virus outbreak and how the government itself is functioning given this concept of social distancing that everybody is talking about as we've said repeatedly in this conversation do not panic just be cautious take care of yourself and thank you for watching government matters